Good morning guys, how are we? I'm back out again, I'm back out on the stubble, back out on another permission, and uh, this is a permission that I've had to buy my way onto again, and I'm going to do live digs here again, I'm going to be using uh, Gary's uh, Ultimate Programme, I nearly said sifter there, we're going to be using Gary's Ultimate Programme, and we're just going to give it a go again, we were in here last week using it, on this farm, and this farm's been absolutely hammered today, so today I'm going to give it a shot out the back today, and uh, just give it a go and see if I can find it and there's been quite a lot of military badges come out up here so that's what I'm kind of hoping to find and uh, we'll go at it again and just see if we can get you any finds so the ultimate program is a really good program I give it a really good write up I give the sifter a even better write up but uh, the ultimate program yeah it seems to pick out signals in amongst iron which is really really good and it does give a good signal you know it it enhances the tone, I think, the, of the good signal because I've, I've noticed when I've got the sister program on, it's kind of less of a a tone coming when you've got iron, you've got just a kind of squeak coming through. But with the ultimate program, it seems to be bringing through the full tone of the good find and the iron underneath. So, yeah, I'm going to stick with this program, I'm going to use it today and just see if we can get any finds. And I'll get back to you on the first hit. Right guys, we've got a live dig, it's an 18-6. Sounds semi-good signal actually, for an 86. Could be a coin. All your coins normally come up at 89, but I guess we're not on the normal programs, we're on Gary's Ultimate to dig in. So somewhere in here it is. It is this, whatever this is. I do not know what that is. I don't know if that's a a coin or something. I don't know. We'll definitely get that cleaned up for the roundup and let you know. But I've no idea what it is. Right guys, this is a live six seventy three seventy seven. Should be something good. And a uh, seventy seven. It's silver before, but I don't know if they'll come up the same with Gary's Ultimate, but 77s before have come up silver. That's what I mean. It's obviously in here somewhere. There we go. Always remember that if you don't have a pinpointer, just use your machine. thing I don't like about this program is it seems to be picking up a lot of aluminum as good signals. Right guys, we've got a live dig, it's an 8081 and it's a live dig. Quite a good signal that, believe it or not. When you hear them that high, they're normally quite high. I think you might, think you might be in here. Yeah. Oh yeah, there it is, look at that. In there, a bit of lead. That's a bag seal. I think that's a bag seal. Well, it would have been in its day, but that's probably been a bag seal in its day. Guys, this is a live dig. It's an 86, so let's dig it. See what we get. <coughs> There we got it. Nothing spectacular, just a bit of bronze. Right guys, we've got a live dig, it's an 86. Let's have a listen to this, it's a really good signal. Oh, there's a day. There possibly could be something here. That one. Look at this. Take a look at that. Wow, what is that? <laughs> wow! Isn't that absolutely stunning? Wow! 
don't know if that's a pipe tamper or something like that. Possibly not. It's far too heavy. I don't know what that's off of. Wow, look at that. It's a little statue. Isn't that just amazing? That was such a great signal. I thought, I'm going to dig that live just to see what it is. There we go. A nice big statue. Woohoo! That was worthwhile going out detective for today alone. Oh, absolutely amazing. Right guys, we've got a live dig coming up. It's uh, 86 I think it was. Let's give it a quick dig. Let's see what we've got. Oh, there we are. Look at that. 86. Big bit of lead. That possibly could be a palm guard. Could be, you know, it's the right kind of palm size for protecting yourself. Yeah, it could be a palm guard. Possible palm guard there. Right guys, we've got a live dig coming up here. Uh, not sure what it was, so... Jumping in the 76 marker. Possibly something in amongst iron there, that's a really good iron signal. Just iron or if there's something good in there. Yeah, it's saying there's something good there. Where I don't know, I just can't see it. <laughs> I see it, I see it, it's in there. Look at that, it's a coin. There we go, look, it's half penny. So let's see what we do. Definite half penny there. No idea who it is, but that is definitely a little half penny. Probably a Victoria. There's been quite a lot of Victorian half pennies over here, but there we go, another nice coin. That's nice. Right guys, just before I bag it up for the day, this is some of the junk that's come out and you're seeing big bits of lead like this, big bits of bronze and aluminium and you think to yourself, how did I miss these? But uh, I think these have been brung up for the plough. There's an old Stanley blade, bottle tops as well, some nice bottle tops. But uh, you know, you think to yourself, how do you miss these? Unfortunately, live digs uh, takes up a lot of time and uh, it reduces your fines, so you've got to remember that as well. So this is again another video of live digs, so again the fines are slightly reduced. So we're just going to crack on until it gets dark and, uh, and we'll see if we can get any more fines. Right guys, we've got a live dig again, it's an 86. There could be something here, I'm not sure. Just in here. Oh, there we go. Look at that, just stuck in there. 86. I think we've got a coin. Possibly a coin or a token there. That could well be a token. It's got the kind of out ring. An outward ring on that, that possibly could be an old token. We'll get it cleaned up for the roundup. Right, guys, that's a live dig, it's an 88. Could be a coin there. Somewhere in here. Hey, look at that. I've just found some kind of paw. Oh, I don't know what that's off of. Look at that, that's cool. Maybe off like a jewelry box or something, but yeah, we call cool. life digging. We've got a nice paw. Wow. 
something different, isn't it? Right, guys, we've got a live dig coming up with a 94. Let's dig it and see what we are. Nice 94. No, that's not it. And here, oh, here we go. Right, look at this bad boy. Haha, -ha. 94. I think we got a bit of silver. Look at that. Who are we but Queen Victoria? Hoo -hoo. We're on a silver, baby. Shilling. Queen Victoria, shilling. Woohoo! Live dig again. Get in, who's your daddy? Right guys, I'm going to call it a day for this hunt. Join me on the roundup again, and uh, it should be another good roundup, couple of nice finds, and uh, we'll get them cleaned up and show you on the roundup. Again guys, if any of you guys haven't considered subscribing, please consider, uh, there's going to be a lot of good videos coming during the summer. We're going to be mudlarking, metal detecting, bottle digging, we're going to be getting in those rivers going to be doing a bit of everything in the summer so stay tuned because uh, this channel is going somewhere and uh, we'll be bringing you lots of uh, great videos uh, in the summer so if you haven't considered subscribing please consider because uh, I do think you are in for a treat in the summer right guys on that note I'll catch you on the next hunt good luck happy hunting and I'll see you soon bye for now Good evening guys, how are we and welcome along to the roundup for this video. Quick roundup, going to show you some of the things that I didn't show. This was a clay pipe that I found with an eyes only. You know, uh, I love the old Glasgow clay pipe. There's another one there, possibly Vicky. And we've got five clay marbles, one, two, three, four, five. This paw here came up. We reckon that they're off maybe like a jewellery box or something like that. But again, it's a nice find. Uh, Got this that came up, that's a number seven, I think it's just for keys. This possibly could be a token, but there's just nothing on it but an, an inner circle, as you can see what I said in the video, just an inner circle on that. Eh, we've got a dresser hem weight, half penny, which of course is Queen Victoria, the Queen Victoria half penny. Of course, we got a lovely bit of silver live again. Which of course is Vicky. There we go. Better look at it. Vicky Silver. Woohoo! Who's your daddy? There we go. Nice bit of silver. Find of the day for me was this, even though I got a bit of silver. Because this is just absolutely brilliant in detail. Stunning. Amazing. Go. Cool. Lovely find. Woohoo! little statue if anybody can ID that let me know because I have no idea what it is but uh, on that note guys uh, I'll probably be the last I'll be on that permission again now I've done it twice uh, one person has asked a question about how does this program hold up in pasture well I don't know because I've never used it in pasture but you've intrigued me to go and find out now so I'll make a video about that so I mean I do read your guys comments and I do take consideration when I'm making the next video so what I'll do is I'll uh, make a video of it on pasture. I've no idea how that will work out but yeah it seemed to work okay in the stubble. Uh, but moving on, uh, before the ploughing season I'm hoping to get into the gallows up in Stirling that's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to tell you what gallows it is but there's quite a few up there but uh, I've got permission round about one that's going to cause a few problems trying to get in about fields and that because uh, there's a few restrictions on the fields uh, to, just to do with uh, historic monuments and things so we'll have to be careful there uh, I had to consult TT and they kind of told me what fields I can go in and what fields I can't so there's a couple I can go in so I'm hoping that we'll get some new finds there and uh, we'll crack on with that permission as soon as the plowing starts as far as I'm aware it's uh, already started so within the next week or two we should be on that permission and uh, give it a little go before the harvest. So until then, until I can get out again, good luck, happy hunting, and I'll catch you on the next video. Bye for now.